Hey there, Simidian here. Welcome back to Marvel Legendary. Let's see who we're fighting today. Fighting King Hulk Sekerson. King Hulk gets plus one attack for each warbound villain in the city and in the escape pod. He always leads warbound. These guys. Master Strike, each player KOs a warbound villain from their victory pile or gains a wound, and then King Hulk transforms. And when he's transformed, he has Wounded Fury. From Master Strike, each player reveals their hand and KOs the card from their hand or discard pile that has the same card name as a card in the HQ. King Hulk transforms. That could be very annoying. Uh, and his scheme is the Televised Death Traps of Mojo World. 11 twists, 6 wounds per player in the wound stack. Twist, stack the strix next to the scheme as a death trap. This turn you may pay one attack for each death trap stacked there. If you don't, each player gains a wound. Evil wind is when the wound stack or the villain deck runs out. Uh, that could... that sounds very bad with this. Yeah, that could be, that could be a problem. Um... <laughs> Let's see how this goes. We're also facing the Sakar Imperial Guard and the Sentinels in a minute. Is this like related? Sakerson, Sakar Imperial Guard? I don't know. Playing as Clea, Daredevil, Kitty Pride, Storm, and the Winter Soldier. Two above four. Alright. Oh. Let's see how this goes. 4-4, four, four, both sides. During your turn, Henchman Char Headman Char gets plus one attack for each villain in your victory pile. Well, I currently don't have any, so... I can easily defeat you. 4-2. Huzzah. You don't have a fight effect. What am I buying here? A demonic bargain to get plus two recruits. Very, very early recruit. And then once my deck starts get getting more full, I can just not make the demonic bargain anymore. Um. This is interesting. I can put away cards that I don't want instead of having to recruit them. That's a, uh, I think that's an underrated effect, like being able to put cards from the HQ on the bottom of the hero deck. Because a lot of the times you don't want to recruit literally everything. You, you've got like an idea that you want to do and then you kind of like take other stuff just to keep the HQ moving along and get more stuff. But with this, you can just Throw away the cards you don't want. I'm probably taking this just so I can afford like higher cost stuff like this card. Um, this is four attack. It's good. Um, what am I buying on the right then? I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I just want this very big recruit card. The daughter of Umar, niece of Dormammu, and one-time wife of Doctor Strange. Leah is used to awkward family reunions. That does sound awkward. I know who two of those characters are. I'm gonna buy this one. Yep. Probably gonna try and buy these on the left just because I can afford them. Still don't know what I'm doing on the right. Well, I want to take one of these. I could also buy a recruit card, like backflip. This isn't the best recruit card in the world, but it's not terrible. Plus it gives the next hero you recruit wall crawl, which is cool. I kind of want this just to put some stuff away. Like this card's not super fantastic.
Have I ever used Kitty Pride before? This card doesn't seem familiar to me. This might be my first time using her, I can't remember. I want to try this. Hero in your hand gets mana at a time this turn. Tech trigger another hero in your hand gets mana at a time this turn. Interesting that it specifies a hero. Like, I guess you don't want to like get a wound play a wound immediately next oh wait yeah that's I, that's actually a good idea don't play the wound immediately next turn because it'll immediately do the healing effect right that's probably a bad idea okay scheme twist so i stack this next to the scheme as a death trap this turn i may pay one attack for each death trap track there and if i don't each player gains a wound so i need to pay one attack this turn or each player gains a wound and i shall do so That's, uh, this will accelerate relatively quickly, but as long as I eventually buy some attack cards, it'll be fine. So I still don't know what I'm doing on either side. All I have done so far is buy a big recruit card and a card that lets me put stuff away that I don't want. I could buy another recruit card on the left side and try to afford this. This works better with like really strong cards like this one. Like if I could give Spinning Cyclone mana at a time, that would be very good. I guess it would be Woman out of time because Storm, Woman, not Man. Um, Okay, if I buy this card, what are the chances I can afford this? One, two, three, four. I would need three more recruit with this to afford. Actually, that's fairly likely. Wait a minute, doesn't Demonic Bargain give you a wound if you fail? Hold up. <laughs> that seems risky with this setup. I didn't even think about that. Oh, no. Uh, hmm. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm buying this card. Oh, she's got a dragon. That's metal as hell. Mm, okay. Wounded Fury, fight feast. If this feats on a non gray hero, draw two cards. Uh, I guess I'm taking the four cost card. I mean, someone needs to buy attack cards, right? Primus Vand gets plus one attack for each villain adjacent to him. Oh, there's currently one. I get it? I do get it. And the demonic bargain will hit a gray. Perfect. It's everything I wanted. Alright, I can get three attack this turn, which would let me fight you. Or I could get six recruit this turn, which would let me buy this. That means I need to put you on the bottom, and you're actually kind of a good card that I kind of don't want to do that to. I honestly don't want to put any of these on the bottom, if I'm being completely honest. So, this, on this turn I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 recruit, and I can put you on top. Uh, 
this card's so good with tech stuff. Like, there's a lot of tech stuff here. What if I just put this on the bottom and fight this and get a KO? And then try and buy, like, a lot of tech on the left? Do a tech thing? Okay. I'm gonna put you on the bottom of the HQ. Or of the hero deck, I mean. So I get two attack. Buying a second one of these is probably a mistake, because it's a much more likely to hit a non-gray as far the further the game goes. Okay, so... Wait, I... That means I need to buy this on the left, or on the right. I mean, it's still good on the right. Or I could buy this, and just never make the demonic bargain. I'll start with you, and KO. Bionic arm. Okay, the next here I recruit the string goes on top of my deck. And then I make a demonic bargain, so I discard the top card of my deck. And I get a wound if it's cost higher than zero. And then I also get the bargain effect no matter what. So I have eight recruit and two attack. And I'm buying two above four. And it goes on top of my deck from backflip. Twist. So I need to pay two attack for each death track stacked here or gain a wound on both sides. And I shall do that because gaining a wound on both sides seems like a terrible idea. I'm going for tech synergy on the left, I think. That seems like a... Oh, I just screwed up my DPI. That seems like a good idea, so I'm not buying this card. What am I buying then? Am I buying an officer? Do I need an officer? I bought this. And this, that's like two recruit cards, sort of. I don't know if I need an officer then. I might just buy a sidekick. This is a kind of pricey HQ. Kind of, not really. I'm gonna buy a sidekick. Okay, this card is currently not not the greatest of cards. Uh, okay, so what do I want to put out of time? Do I want a shield agent or a shield trooper? That's a, the question of the ages. Am I fighting this turn? This thing? Just because I can? I'll give a trooper... Ran out of time. I'm gonna fight this. Look at the top three cards of your deck, put them back in any order, and then feast. Alright. Put them back into this order. And then feast, which is KO the top card of your deck. I'm going to buy Bionic Arm. Alright. Um, what am I putting away? I think I'm putting this away. Which would give me 1, 2, 3, 4 recruit. Which would be enough to buy this. Which is a decent card. I think the right side is just taking like other stuff. The left side's going for tech, and the right side's going for stuff. Tech and tech deck, stuff deck. So I think I'll put this on the bottom, which will give me four recruit, which I can buy this. Okay.
X Gene X Men's pretty good. I could take that instead. There's a lot of X Men going on, and by a lot I mean two, which is more than one, which makes this easier to deal with. Yeah, I can take this. One recruit, one attack, draw cards, just good. Well, assuming I get the X Gene effect. Four attack, and the rooftops villain has minus two, so you're at three instead of four. That would put the copycat into play. Is that a problem? Not really. It's a little bit of a problem. No, it's not. None of these have like a threatening escape effect. All right, I'll fight you for three. Uh, fight K one of your heroes. And then when you rescue this, it goes into the city as a villain. And I'm going to buy this. All right, at the start of my turn, the shield trooper gets played. All right. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And how many grays have I KO'd on, KO'd on this side? I think one of these was from the left side and one, of, two of them were from the right side. So I, I believe all three of these cards are gray. If I am wrong, I will be very sad. And this is... Oh, I could have done this with this! That would have been smart. Uh, zero. It's too bad I'm not smart. And the next hero I recruit this turn goes on top of my deck. This one probably, right? And then this one. Which one do I want on top? This one, I guess. fighting this turn. This guy? Uh, yeah. Also an attack for each villain in your victory pile, huh? That's, so you're at four? You're just going to get more expensive to fight? So maybe I should fight you right away? And nah, nah, nah. I, fight, I should fight this one. Fight! Look at the top two cards of your deck, put them back on the top or indoor bottom, and then feast. I think I want to feast that one. Alright, and then I want this and this. I think I want this one on top. From backflip. And then I'm going to buy this one too. That's not a good a fight effect, I don't think. All right, the H the city's looking a little rough. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, um Guess I'm continuing with this buy stuff plan. Just buy some stuff. This is stuff. Buy the stuff. Oh, I want that one. Alright. You have escaped, so I need to KO something from the HQ. Question is, what am I KOing? This one, I think. This works well with all of the Demonic Bargain and Daredevil stuff. So I want to keep that. I want to keep this for the X-Gene on the right side. I want to keep this for the left side, and this is just a big 
big beefy attack card, which I want. So I'm going to KO this one. Okay, so this is plus one attack for each different cost among heroes in the HQ, so it's currently three. Then two attack and tech trigger man out of time. Seven attack. I need to clear the HQ a little bit, I think. Um, you're at five. I think I should fight the two threes just to clear the HQ. And I get two KOs. Um, one of each, I think. Because I have a decent amount of recruit, but I also want to recruit some like beefier things, so I don't want to get rid of all of them. Scheme Twist. Okay, I need to pay three attack for each Death Trap check here, and if I don't, each player gains a wound. Uh, I don't have any, which is kind of bad. Top three cards of your deck, draw one, put the rest back in any order. Okay, that's better. Then two recruit, Demonic Bargain for two more recruit. Um, then one of each and X Gene X Men draw a card. Have three recruit and three attack. I'm paying the three attack for the death trap. And then with three recruit, I think I'm buying this one. Prepare dark magic just seems kind of good for either side. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Uh, is this fine? Yeah, this is fine. I got the two attack from this man at a time. Um. This demonic bargain is risky, so I don't think I'll do. I don't think I will do that demonic bargain. Uh, yep, just don't don't take the risk. Um, I can buy you. I'll put you on top of my deck from backflip. I don't get the man at a time from this, unfortunately, but that's fine. Okay, five attack and I'm paying for the death trap because that's just the safe option and I'm buying a sidekick. Uh huh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's not zero. I'm pretty sure I have KO'd two gray cards from this side. So this isn't this is not zero. Um, do I remember what card? It, oh, I do know what card it is. It's the um, instinct card. Um, how much does that cost? It was three, right? Yeah, this is the instinct kitty gray card. That's the last card in my deck. I'm pretty sure it's three. So choose a number, then real top card of your deck. If that next card is that recruit. You get two attack three. All right, I have eight attack. One recruit. Uh, I can fight these two, right? Oh, and that gives me the kitty, the kitty pride card. Okay, I fight you for five. I draw a card, and then left side draws a card. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a fine shuffle, I guess. Okay, I can get two more attack or two more recruits. I believe backflip's time has passed. I'll put that on the bottom and buy this. I could have put that on the bottom, but I kind of want that card. It's a good card. I'm going to fight you for three. KO one of my heroes. I 
I think this side has enough recruit. I don't know. I don't know how to judge this. Like, judge when I should be KOing agents and when I should be KOing troopers. I feel like if the city's super expensive, you want to try and KO the troopers, and if you feel like you're comfortable with the amount of recruit, you want to KO the agents, but I don't... I don't know if this is really a good cutoff point. Lockheed Kitty's Dragon. Soaring Flight. Put a card from the HQ on the bottom of the hero deck. You get plus attack equal to its cost. Ooh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I want this more on the right, but if I can afford it on the left, I'll just take it on the left. Alright, I need to pay 5 for the death scheme. Okay. I need to, hold up, I need to look up mana at a time real quick. Um... Because I believe you cannot man out of time a card that has already man out of time. They discard a second time and then immediately discard it. Okay. So I can't get this man out of time again. It's immediately discarded and not in play anymore. So, the question is, I probably can't afford this this turn. I have no idea what's on top of my deck. I could buy this with these four. Then get the extra attack from this by saying four. Then I play this. No, then I play this and give this out of time. No, but it already has out of time. I give... Wait, I can play this first. And give... This out of time. And then this gets out of time with the... Okay, okay, okay. This is a complicated turn. Okay, I'm going to start by playing this. And give Radar Sense man out of time. Then I'm going to play these. The next hero I recruit this turn goes on top of my deck. I'm going to buy this. Then I'm going to do this. Two attack. And then I choose four. Reveal the top card of my deck. Which gives me two attack. Then one recruit draw a card, and both of these are out of time. Um, then two attack. One attack. And I need to pay five for the death trap. And then fight you for five, which KOs a card from the HQ. You only have threes in your hand, so I can KO a six and not, be not too upset about that. Actually, you're at six. I'm just going to fight you. I'm not gonna get six attack this turn, am I? Oh wait, I can I can get six attack this turn. That's fine. Uh, two attack, draw a card, then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. Okay. 
And I need to put a card with an attack icon on the bottom. This one. And I'm paying the six attack for the death trap. Buying a sidekick. All right, mana time. Uh, I don't know what order these go in. Is there like a ruling for order or can I just pick? That's from Captain America. Okay, it doesn't say... Oh, well, goodbye. It doesn't say which order I need to play them in, so I just, I'm assuming I can just pick the order. Um, so I'm going to do this one first, and I'm going to say... Zero. So this is two attack. I was wrong. And then one recruit draw a card. And then these two are immediately discarded, but they do count for triggering superpowers. Okay, so this is two attack and out of time. Then two attack out of time. Um, I get plus one attack for each different cost of heroes in the HQ, so that's four. One attack, I can investigate for a card that costs zero, KO it, or discard it. I'm gonna KO this one. I'll leave this one on top. Then two recruit, and I'm going to demonic bargain it. So I have seven recruit and 11 attack. That's pretty good. I'm going to fight you. Oh, a Warbound escaped. That's unfortunate. So I'm going to fight you for 11. Fight. Each other player reveals their hand and discards a hero that isn't gray and isn't strength. Then King Hulk transforms. So isn't gray, isn't strength, huh? Do I have an X-Men in here? I do. So I want this one. I'll discard this one. And then King Hulk transforms. So he's got Wounded Fury, which means that for every wound in your discard pile gets plus one attack. Seven recruit. I think I'm just buying blind justice. Just buy the big attack card that can card draw sometimes. I was trying to do like a tech thing, but it's not really working anymore. I'm going to start with this. One recruit, one attack, X-Gene, X-Men, draw a card. I do have an X-Men in here. I checked last turn, but just to double check. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, and I can move a villain to any new city space that I want. Um, you have an annoying escape effect, so I'm just going to move you back. All right, six attack, four recruit. Four recruit's definitely buying this card. The six attack, I guess I'm fighting you. Look at the top two cards of your deck, put them back on top and or bottom, and then feast. I'm gonna leave them where they were, and then I feast. Four recruit. All right. These men are out of time, and they give me four attack, and are immediately discarded. 
Um, I don't have a tech trigger for this. If I make a demonic bargain, I can afford this card. How risky do I want to be though? How many grays do I still have on this side? I don't know. I haven't been keeping track very well. I feel like at least half of this deck is gray. Oh, I can just do this first. To attack, I'm going to say zero. It's not zero. Okay, I should I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Wait, I can just draw it. Uh, six, or, okay, so this is four. I mean, I can do it. I should fight King Hulk first. Yeah, I'm gonna fight King Hulk for ten. After you put this in your victory pile, cross-dimensional Hulk rampage, and then King Hulk transforms. Okay, well this side has Hulk in their victory pile. I don't think this side has anything Hulk. Um, yeah, no. So this side gains a wound. There's still 11 wounds left, so this isn't that bad. Buying this card is probably worth gaining one wound, right? I'm going to do that. Two recruit, and I can make a demonic bargain to get two more. Oh. I gain the wound, but, but I do still get all the recruit. Okay, my question is... Which of these overwrites the other one. Because Soaring Flight means it goes into my hand as an extra card. Next turn. Where this means it goes on top of my deck. And I don't know which one overwrites the other one. This one's... Soaring Flight is obviously better for me, because I get seven cards next turn instead of six. Um, but... I don't know if that's accurate or not. This is like a very specific interaction that I doubt would be in a rule book anywhere. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give myself the soaring flight. And if someone has like a ruling somewhere and wants to correct me on that, feel free. he in the right position? I think I did... I think so. Alright, I'm gonna start with this to attack, draw a card, and then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. Then to attack, and I'm going to say zero. For two more attack to recruit, and I'm going to Demonic Bargain it away for two more recruit. I have eight attack. Six recruit. You have two less attack this turn. What cost do you have in your hands? Six and eight. So if I KO anything else, that'll be fine. KO this one. So I'm going to fight you for five. KO a card from the HQ, and then each player reveals their hand and KOs a card with that same cost. So I'm going to KO this one. And there, no one has three costs in their hand. So I'm gonna fight you. KO one of my heroes. Six recruit. Ghost of the Machine is good on both sides. I was trying to do like a tech thing on the left though, and I think I still want to try and do a tech thing on the left, so I'm gonna buy this card because it's working with what I'm trying to do over here. 
And what I'm trying to do over here is just buy good cards, and a lot of those good cards are X-Men. I am very lucky that no Master Strikes have shown up. Alright. So, I should probably get as much attack out of this as I possibly can, right? So I'm going to put this on the bottom of the hero deck and get the attack equal to its cost. Uh, what card is this? I don't know. I don't... I'm... I don't know what card this is. Wait, it's the Winter Soldier Rare, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Winter Soldier Rare, but... Is the Winter Soldier Rare 7 or 8 costs? Oh shit, I can't remember. I think it's 7. I'm going to feel real bad if it's not 7. And I should have kept this in my hand then, because then I could have given it Soaring Flight. Or not Soaring Flight, man at a time. I'm going to say 7. It's 8, isn't it? No, it's 7. It's, it's definitely 7. Okay, okay. And then 4 more attack. Something here gets out of time, so it's going to be this one. Okay, I have 16 attack and 3 recruit. Damn, I should have... I should have thought more. I could have given this out of time instead of a fucking shield trooper. Okay, so... There's only one, so you're at 10. I'm going to fight you. The villain in the escape pile with the highest printed attack enters the sewers. That's interesting. And then King Hulk transforms. Okay. How many wounds do I have on this side? Just one. So you're at 11. Can't fight you. I'll get two KOs. And I'm going to buy a sidekick. I've been very lucky with the Master Strikes. <laughs> oh my god, there's five in there. A fourth of that deck is Master Strikes. Do I have any X-Men in here? Sure do. Alright, 1-1 one, one draw a card. I'm going to investigate for X-Men. Right? I probably have, I have more X-Men in here. One attack and investigate for X-Men. Well, that's unfortunate. Gonna flippy floppy these two. Pushing for winning, so I'm just going to KO the recruit cards. I have enough range to make this okay, I think. You played at least seven other cards this turn to get plus two attack. <laughs> Alright, man at a time. give you out of time, then one recruit draw a card and you go out of time, then two attack and I'm going to say three, nope, then four attack and I'm going to say zero, I have twelve attack, three recruit, I do not have any wounds in my victory pile, so I'm going to fight King Hulk for 10. Oh, you, 
don't you don't you don't come with me. You get plus one recruit for each of your strength heroes. King Hulk transforms. I did it. I won. This was fun. This was scary. I thought I was going to lose because of all the wounds that were given out. But shockingly, uh, <laughs> all of the master strikes were in the bottom half of the deck. So I got pretty lucky there. Sometimes the Sometimes Tabletop Simulator Shuffle screws you, and sometimes Tabletop Simulator Shuffle saves your bacon. And today was the latter. Let's count some VP. 39 on the left, and... 21 on the right. This was fun. I don't think I've ever played with this Winter Soldier either. Yeah, I think... Both Winter Soldier and Kitty Pride were characters I have never played with before. And it was interesting to play with them. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.